Welcome back to another video, guys. Hopefully you guys are having a great day today. Today is a very special day. It is June 13th, 2024, and I got another palm tree, and I wanna share it with you guys. I've been keeping you guys updated. If you guys haven't stayed updated, definitely check out my YouTube shorts. I'm always uploading YouTube shorts, especially during the summer months, uh, just with my palms and stuff. If you guys are you know, interested in zone pushing palm trees, I grow palm trees here in Colorado. So I'm, I'm like really zone pushing these babies. So definitely subscribe, check out my YouTube shorts. I've had this YouTube channel, I don't, I think three, four years now, something like that. Anyways, I get a palm tree every single year and I have two windmills and I have this year, it was a little different. I got a Mexican fan palm and a California fan palm, and those guys aren't doing so great. So I decided, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go back to getting a windmill palm. And there was a little issue with getting this windmill palm and we got it all sorted out. So let me just refresh you guys on what this issue was. So I had these baby windmill palms. I actually had three. I gave one to one of my family members. They really wanted one to see if they can actually try as a zone push palm tree as well. So I gave them that one. This isn't what I ordered. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not like complaining about it whatsoever. I'm just saying that this wasn't what I ordered. I ordered a three foot windmill palm and they accidentally sent me this. So I contacted the company and they were really nice about it. They're like, we'll send you the original one that you wanted. I was already prepared to send these ones back. They were like, no, go ahead and keep these. And I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna, I, I ended up with more palms than what I actually, you know, intended to. So as you can see, we have this big, huge box right over there. And I just opened the top of the box and I'm so excited to open this with you guys. I haven't even seen what the palm looks like. This spot right here, this is where my California fan palm is, as you can see. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this guy out. I'm gonna make it look a little bit nicer with the circle. And we're gonna put this windmill right here. I think this is gonna be a perfect spot for it. These are my windmills here. They look really good and they, they do not struggle whatsoever. Knock on wood, hopefully nothing. I don't jinx it, but they i don't know so i i just honestly think another windmill is great for the ground here where i live they're just they just look really good and really great they're growing they're thriving which is really nice um but yeah it's that middle spear oh, i'm nervous i'm excited give this video a like if you guys are excited to see what this palm tree looks like let's go ahead and open this guy Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Come here. You guys got to look at this. This is what I saw. Beautiful. Dark green. Oh my goodness. Oh man. This just looks so nice. It's super dark green. Okay. I'm going to take it out of the box really quick. This is what the palm looks like. Oh my goodness. That is the trunk. It looks so good. Oh my gosh. Over here on this side. Okay, I'm gonna take this bubble wrap off so that we can get a deeper look on what that trunk is looking like. Okay, just got the bubble wrap off and that trunk is massive. That is huge. Okay, these scissors in my hand next to the trunk. That's crazy. That's, that's insane. Oh, this thing is so beautiful. That's how it's looking from a distance. That's so nice. The trunk, I just cannot get over the size of the trunk that's crazy <laughs> oh my goodness i just love this thing so much it's gonna look so nice right here
all of those roots. That's crazy. Good morning everyone, it is the next day, super nice outside. It almost feels really humid. Last night we had thunderstorms and it, it, this thunder, I can't believe I got it on film. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna share it with you guys. I, I don't think I've ever heard thunder this loud before here in Colorado. Um, maybe I've just been living under a rock or something, but it was so loud, it scared me. So here's that clip. After that, there were like a few car alarms here in my neighborhood that were going off. It was, it was, I don't even know. I was like speechless about it. I got you open, this is something you ain't used to Make you forget the same old same The mundane life is a soul train line Hit the runway and lose all your self-control Hit a groove that can induce love to all uh -oh. Can I get a little bit of low end? Shorty jiggling them hips like they broke in uh, It'll be so much fun If every day felt like June 21 It's that feeling that you get on the last day of school The bubble in your stomach got you juice Now you feeling loose uh, Kick them shoes off Raise your hands up Let's lift the roof off like uh There's the squirrel again There's, Oops, there they go <laughs> Heading over here by my patio It's just going to be something to look at Something to fill in this area Really happy about planting it here fits the spot perfectly this is how the trunk is looking it just looks so good like i always say nice and beefy that's how it's looking i don't know i just love it so much it just looks so good and then like i said yesterday it just looks super full and i'm not so sure why if you guys can comment down below and let me know but the fronds on the, uh, this guy here they're not as long as my other fronds on my other windmill like this one over here see how the fronds are super long so does that mean, you know, one of these guys were grown in the shade and one in the sun, one in a greenhouse and the other maybe not in a greenhouse? I don't know, maybe I'm thinking that the other one, since the longer fronds, it was grown in a greenhouse. Metal spear right in there. And it's like wanting to open. That bird is super loud. <laughs> the other thing is this frond here is super floppy. They're not as stiff as my other palms, uh, maybe because they do get full sun. Um, I don't know, so maybe this guy will start to stiffen out. It, I don't know, it just looks very jungly and I love that so much, like it's all cluttered together. So what I'm talking about, when I come out here, walk out on my patio, it's just something to look at right in this spot. And also my Mexican fan palm here, which, <laughs> yeah. But this guy is just so dang beautiful. I brought a Celsius can so that I can show you the size um, compared to the trunk. So that is what it looks like. You can see the trunk is, is huge compared to the can. There are also a few marks on it. I don't know what that is. It almost looks like paint or something. I don't know. Um, the tips, um, they're kind of like, almost like burnt, looks like. Of that spear here and then there's another small one right down in there. So definitely keep you guys updated on this guy. I feel like this guy's going to do just fine. If my other windmills are doing perfectly fine, I feel like this guy's going to do just as, just as good. Yeah, since it rained last night, I don't think I'm going to water it. It rained a lot. So I think it got, it got a heck of a lot of water. 
Okay, so to answer a few questions, uh, if you guys or if there's anyone out there that's you know a spot an aspiring person to to grow a palm tree to 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 zone push a palm tree in a climate where palm trees don't grow where you have to go to the beach or you have to go to a tropical place just to enjoy a palm tree this palm the windmill palm is the perfect palm tree to to zone push and, and, and give it and give it a shot just just try it for the longest time living here in Colorado you know I always thought that I had to go somewhere to enjoy a palm tree to look at a palm tree and you know I found other people like James Palms he was probably one of the first guys that I came across uh, his YouTube channel and saw that he was zone pushing palm trees and I thought it was the coolest thing so I, I wanted to try it and I did try it um, and so he inspired me to to grow palm trees so I hope that maybe I can inspire somebody out there to to zone push a palm tree and like I said these windmill palms the perfect palm tree to start out with these guys I've had no issues with all you need to do is protect it during the winter and give it some sun during the summer and just water these guys and call it good they are literally low maintenance I have no issues and they I don't know just you just you just get to enjoy it so with that being said if you guys are interested in this palm tree here I'm going to link the website down below I actually got it from Amazon from American Plant Exchange uh, they they always send an amazing palm tree this palm here was about I'd say about 95 80 85 dollars um, and I think it's well worth the money, especially with the size of this palm. So definitely go check them out. And with that being said, lastly, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. You guys subscribe and join this community where we all, not just me, but other YouTubers, we all zone push palm trees. It's something great to be a part of and something cool to see. Um, I'll definitely keep you guys updated in the incoming days on this palm tree and see if it does start to push out that middle spear. So thank you guys so much. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.